No matter what type of project you're doing, the last thing you want to do is order either too little of what you need or conversely too much. And when you deal with a project like laminate wall panels, it's the type of project most people, whether you're a DIY consumer or you're an installing dealer for the first time, you probably have not done before. So in this video, my goal is to provide you with a very simple three-step process to figure out how many wall panels you need to get. And I'm gonna use five different examples uh, for both like a tub shower alcove, I'll use ones for a walk-in shower, use ones for a full bathroom, so really get a better sense of what you need on a project. So first example I'm gonna begin with is the tub and shower alcove which is by far the most popular application. So if we look on this paper, we'll see most uh, tub shower alcoves are about 60 inches wide by 32 inches deep. With the FIBO laminate wall panels, the standard panels are 23.6 inches wide by 94.4 inches tall. And then the decorative panels, decorative accent panels, are about half that size, 11.8 wide by 94.4 tall. Most of what you'll be working with are the full panels. 27 of the 29 patterns in inventory are the 23.6 inch wide. So the 60 inch wall is also called the back wall in many cases. And as we talked about, the panels are about two foot wide, actually 23.6 inches wide. So the very simple way that I do it to figure out how many panels you need is I first look at the back wall, the 60 inch back wall. And let's say this marking is really a two foot panel, very fancy there, but that's the two foot panel. And then I'd look and say, we're gonna need about another uh, portion of a panel here and a portion of a panel here. So usually what you're gonna do is use the full two foot panel in the middle, and then you're gonna cut on the sides. Usually these will be about 18 inches and 18 inches, and you'll have a little bit of extra that'll go uh, in addition to that. So on this back wall, we're gonna use three panels. I'm just gonna put three P there. Now, on the side, which is, let's say this is 32 deep in this particular example, which is pretty common. In most bathtubs, 30 to 32 deep. Uh, showers, you may have that be 36 inch deep. So if we look at it and we say we've got a two foot panel, in most cases, how many panels you use is gonna actually be driven off what pattern you choose. So I'm gonna, in this example, say that we're gonna use a pattern called Bianco Marble on the sides, and Bianco Marble, is a 24 inch by 24 inch tile look when it's done. So if I were to put a full two foot panel and then, a, and then a small little eight inch piece to make this 32 inches, the problem you'd run into is it wouldn't be symmetrical. And if this project was being done by my wife and it was not symmetrical, it would drive her nuts every single day. So what I normally recommend to people, if you're dealing with uh, tile patterns with the FIBO wall panels is to make things symmetrical. So if we had this 32 inch space, and let's say that we're using the full uh, panels, the full two foot panels, I would make one panel in here, let's say 16 inches wide, and I'd make another panel 16 inches wide. So on this side, we're gonna use two panels on that side. Then conversely on the other side, we're gonna use two panels. And so when we look at this, We've got, uh, using my advanced mathematics skills that I learned at Carnegie Mellon University, we have a total of seven. This is a seven panel kit that we need. Now, uh, the name of that, pit, uh, that kit, uh, we call it an IBS-3W-LAA. What that stands for is, IBS is just Innovate Building Solutions. 3W just says there's one, two, three walls that we're gonna have on that. And LAA is our designation for large alcove. Now, even though I looked at this thing and I said it's a seven panel kit, I'm gonna give you an example that can be a little bit tricky. This could also be a six panel kit. So in this first example, we talked about having a pattern on a tile pattern on the side and wanting to make it symmetrical. So in my case, my wife wouldn't drive her nuts. However, let's say we have a pattern, we have some patterns in the line where they are not a tile pattern. So in those, you're not gonna notice where the, the panels are clicked and locked together. So in that scenario, on the side, I would use a full, the full two foot panel, and then just a small piece, the eight inch piece here, and I would do the same thing over here. So basically, in that scenario, where it's, let's say this thing is now an ungrouted, I'm gonna call an ungrouted panel, I would use 
one and one half panels on the right, and I'd use one and one half panels on the left. So now I take my three in the back wall, still the same three, plus one and a half plus one and a half, and this could also be a six panel kit if the pattern is ungrouted. Uh, that one, we call the name of that an IBS 3W, again, Innovate Building Solutions, three wall, MIDA, which just stands for a mid-sized alcove. So this is one thing that can be a little different when you're thinking through the size of the panels. So that's our first example, which is really like the alcove tub or an alcove shower. Now, also, if this was a 36 inch depth, it would actually be the exact same mathematics that we'd have because the panels, again, are two foot wide. And you could even, if you wanted to, with the two foot panels, bring them further out if you did want to run the panels beyond the end of the alcove or shower. So, in addition to figuring out how many panels you need in this, the second thing that we want to look at is what type of panels you use. So we have a, a cool display that we used a pattern called black hexagon on the, uh, on the back wall and a pattern that was called Bianco marble that was on the side walls. And again, that's something you can do. It's very kind of a cool and fun way to mix things up. So uh, the Bianco marble, I'll just talk about the Bianco marble. We have different collections in the line. So one collection is called Transitionalist Bianco Marble, and it's a 24-24 tile look. So when this is being ordered, it's going to be called, we just call it a trans, which just stands for Transitionalist, dash BM, which stands for Bianco Marble. And then the, the designation at the end, 2424, is just going to be a tile that's going to look 24 by 24. Now, because this thing is only 32 inches wide and we're making it symmetrical, it's actually going to look like a 16 inch wide by 24 because we're going to cut these panels. The last thing in ordering, so first we had how many panels we needed, either six or seven depending on the pattern, and then second we had the pattern we were choosing. The last thing is the trim pieces. The trim is available in any of the kits in either white, brush nickel, or matte black. Uh, with this one here, since I've got Bianco Marble, which is kind of a white gray pattern, and I've got black hexagon on the back, I would probably use a black trim piece at the top of the black hexagon, and on the sides of the Bianco Marble, I would probably go with brush nickel or white uh, or, or the white to make it kind of more seamless. But again, you could use you know black matte black all the way around or just in part of it. So in ordering to recap in this example, we have the number of panels, either six or seven versus grouted versus ungrouted. We have the, the type of pattern. We're talking about a mix of black hexagon, let's say, and Bianco marble. And then lastly, the trim. So that's example number one. So I wanted to spend more time on that. For these other examples, I'm going to go a little, I'm going to go a little quicker, but we're going to still give you more understanding of them. So we said most patterns are two foot wide. So in this one, we have a walk-in shower where we've got one, two, three, four walls in that walk-in shower. So in this back wall, I'm going to do this pretty simply. There are two foot panels. So I'm going to go one, two, three. I didn't make those all nice and neat, uh, but anyway, they'll all be the same size, unlike my drawing here quick. On the side here, you're going to see this says 42 inches. That would be the distance inside between this wall here and the corner. And over there, you're almost going to use two full panels. Again, the panels are about 24 inches wide. These are going to actually be closer to 21 when you're done. And then on this wall, because this framed wall is probably about four inches deep, this wall would actually be more like 46 inches long, but because again the panels are two foot wide, you're going to have one, two panels over there. Now we're not done because we've got a fourth wall here because this is a walk-in with a frame wall next to the vanity. So this thing is 36 inches wide. We're going to get a panel that's going to come basically probably about 18 inches, 18 inches of the full 24. And then we're also going to use a little piece of the panel to finish the edge of this wall so it's all finished. And then there'll be a trim piece, what we call an external corner trim piece that's going to go over there. So this particular kit would be now one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This would be a nine panel uh, kit. 
So this one is called an IBS 4W uh, system. And then I'm going to get for you here the, uh, the name of that one because uh, I wish I had them all memorized, but I don't. But uh, 4W, uh, and it is a BAS, which just stands for bathroom small is what that stands for, but a nine panel kit. Now, in addition to that, as far as pattern goes, maybe we decided we wanted the Aberdeen brick uh, pattern, and that's in the Modern Farmhouse collection and it has a 12 inch by 4 inch look. So again, we have in the beginning of this, this our style, which is modern farmhouse, AB, which stands for Aberdeen brick, and then 12 by 4 means that tile look is going to be about 12 inch wide by 4 inch tall. So again, this last designation is always the, the look of the tile. So that's example number two. Now, go on to example number three. So this is a pretty simple one. This is a corner shower, and these two walls here, we're gonna assume are the, it's a neo-angle corner, 40 inch by 40 inch corner, and I'm gonna assume these are glass. So again, our panels are about two foot wide. So I'm gonna have a, about a 20 inch area and a 20 inch area here, and a 20 inch area and a 20 inch area here. Now, if we did want, because these panels again are 24 inches, we could have made it a full 24 and a full 24 and carried the panels beyond the end of the uh, glass enclosure, or we could have just run the panels just a little bit beyond the glass uh, to the edge of the shower pan, either would work. So in this case here, right, we've got two panels on this wall, two panels on this wall. This is a four panel kit. Now, uh, the, the designation of that one is uh, again IBS 2W which just again means two wall and then the four panel kit we call that MIC which just stands for a mid-sized alcove. So again designations all work the same in this. Uh, as far as pattern goes uh, we could choose any pattern. Let's say the most popular pattern actually is one called crack cement. So that one is in the Modern Minimalist collection, M-O-M-I, which is Modern, and then Minimalist. CC, which just stands for Crack Cement. And this one, because it has no grout joint, is a zero, 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 meaning there's no grout look to it. So there is some rhyme or reason to our, our designations, but anyway, that would be, let's say, example three of a corner shower. So we're gonna go to uh, example uh, number four which is going to look at now a full bathroom. So let, let's say we looked at this thing and we had a very typical uh, five foot at 60 inch by eight foot bathroom. Uh, some of you may have exactly this bathroom. You come in and the toilet's at the end and you've got a vanity and you've got a toilet in there. And let's say you want to do all of the walls in the bathroom because you don't want to maintain any of this stuff anymore. First, I'll look at an example and say, a simple example and say, we're gonna all use the exact same pattern throughout the whole bathroom. So because they're two foot wide, uh, on this 96, you know, the 96 divided by 24 is gonna be four panels there. And then on this side, uh, again, we're gonna have that, the, you know, one full panel, we would center up the full 24 inch in the middle, and then we'd have about a 18 inch piece of it and an 18 inch piece of it here. So on this side, four panels, this side, three panels, and then because these sides are exactly the same, this would also be four panels. Now over here by the door, there is an option you'd have uh, where you'd look and say, well, you know, am I gonna cover above the door? Because you, again, you've got that door space here. If you were, you're gonna make that three more panels, and this is gonna be, let's say, uh, we're gonna have here seven and, and seven. This is gonna be 14 panels that you'll need for this one. Or if you decide, hey, I'm not gonna cover above the door, or I'm gonna use an off cut to cover above the door, this could be uh, also two panels that you're gonna use in this example here. So it could be a two, two panel kit, depending on what you do with it. Now, one of the other things I haven't talked about is with all of these kits, you are gonna get between the panels, there's a hybrid polymer sealant. There is um, a spray when the panels click and lock together, some of the spray oozes out, you're gonna get that. You're gonna get the trim profiles. Everything with the kit is gonna come with the kit except the backer board system that goes behind 
the wall panels, which is either strips of OSB or sheets of OSB. So this is a full, uh, let's say in this case, a full bathroom that you're going you're gonna to have there. I would order in this one, because our kits go up to 12, I would order two seven panel kits, which is just IBS, Innovate Building Solutions 3W, LAA. And that would give you a total of 14, in this case, 14 panels you'd get on that one. Now, if you had a case where you did want to have, let's say, the alcove be different from the balance of it, then you'd go back and let, let's say you're going to finish one panel here and you're going to start another panel here. You would just take the difference, right, this 96 minus, let's say this is 32 deep, and that would be how many panels you need here of the different pattern and then how many, this would be all a different pattern than what you had here. So you might have seven panels here of whatever pattern you want to choose and seven over here. One of the neat things about the kit program is you can vary them depending on you know, what you've got. So that's example number four. The last example I'll just do here is let's say you wanted to do like maybe a feature wall. So I might take this 108 inches and I'm going to do this wall and maybe I'm going to do this 72 inch wall and this wall over here. So on the 108, a simple way to figure any of this is 108 divided by 23.6. And you'll see it came out to 4.58. Well, uh, that means we're going to get five panels. And what, what we would normally recommend to do is use the full panels in the middle so everything looks symmetrical. So let's say these are the two foot panels, not very symmetrical. You have to bear with me there. And then you've got a portion of a panel here and a portion of a panel here. But you want to think through this mathematics, but this would be five panels on this wall. Then if we wanted to carry the panels out, uh, what's going to happen is, since you have a stud wall here, you're going to have, you know, that we had that uh, 42 dimension, we're going to have two there, we're going to have another two panels here, and then we're going to look at the 72 minus, let's say we've got 42 uh, deep, um, this would be another 30 inches back here, which may mean that we're going to have another two panels outside of here. So in this scenario, we're going to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, eleven panels. Now, one of the things I haven't talked about when you're ordering is should you get an extra panel or not? If you're an installing dealer and, and uh, Innovate, we have installing dealers around the country, I usually recommend to have a, I call it your plus one panel, your one extra panel. The reason being, if something does go wrong, you've got it right then and there, you don't have to wait, uh, your customer doesn't have to wait to put that in. If you're a consumer, you know, should you get the pan extra panel or shouldn't you? It could go either way. If you're very careful, you may not need it. But if you want to cover yourself and just make extra certain you have it, you may want to order an extra panel. That's really a personal preference, but always something to, uh, to think about. So anyway, that concludes this uh, discussion of you know, the, how to order the laminate wall panels. Now, if you're wondering, you know, where can I learn more about these panels, you can go to Innovate Building Solutions. Uh, if you want to go specifically to the wall panel section, you could go to innovateshowerwalls.com uh, and get to that as well. Or feel free to call 877-668-5888. Uh, and or we can put you in contact uh, if you want to have an installer or one of our installing dealers across the country. Thanks so much for watching and I hope this uh, math session and how to figure out these wall panels uh, was helpful to you and if not certainly feel free to give us a call. Send us a rough drawing. It doesn't have to look as, as professional as this. You can hand draw it on a sheet of notebook paper. We'd be happy to go through that with you and figure out exactly how many you need or put you in contact with an installing dealer who would certainly be happy to do the same. Thanks so much. I'm Mike Foti. I appreciate you watching this video.